Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Will's Treasures. Today, we're going to do a little something different. Instead of showing you a mail call or doing shout outs or something like that, I have some Walking Liberty halves and a whole pile of Merc Dimes over here. And I'm going to be adding them to my album today and also explaining a little bit about them. So if coins are your thing, collecting U.S. Constitutional, stick around. And you're going to see some pretty cool coins today. So let's get right to it. Now we have the three Walking Liberty halves. I have a 1934, no mint mark, a 1938, no mint mark, and a 1937D, and it's got the D right over there. Now, if you did not know, when you have a Walking Liberty half and there's no mint mark on it, that means that it was minted in Philadelphia, at the Philadelphia Mint, okay? And Philly didn't put their mint marks on many coins. It wasn't until the uh, later years that they started adding a mint mark to some of the coins, but in the early days, they did not add a mint mark. So if you have something without a mint mark, it's from Philadelphia, so we're going to pop these out of these flips here. And I'm not worrying too much about touching them because they're my coins. They're going in my collection and I'm not having them graded. They are circulated coins, but ones that I do not currently have in my book. So we're going to start off with the first one here, which is a 1934. And I'll show you the book that I put them in, the album. It's a Walking Liberty Half Dollar album from 1916 to 1936. This is volume one. They also have a volume two from 1937 to 1947. So, we have the 1934, which is on the last page here. And we're going to put that right in where it belongs. 1934. And we have a 1938 here, which is in the other album. Nope, sorry about that. Hit the camera. Here's the other album. This one's getting pretty full. Kind of happy about that. We got 1938 right here. And the last one is a 1937 Philadelphia which I have already so we're gonna hold that one aside keep adding to this album until I get them all full I'm sure let's see okay this was a 1937 D yeah, I don't have that one. All right, I didn't think so. I'm going to put this up on the scope so you can see exactly where the mint mark is on a Walking Liberty half. Okay, so if you don't have a scope, I highly suggest you get one because you can see everything. Look how clear that is. So we got a 1937, and if you flip it over... Down at the bottom, off to the side here, you see the little D right there. So it's a 1937D. It's right next to the rim. It's very small. You can see that's the bottom of the coin where it says half dollar. So that's where the mint mark's going to be on 
every single half dollar. Walking Liberty half dollar right there. So now that you've seen the mint mark, you know where to find it. And the D stands for Denver. That was minted in the Denver Mint. And currently we have three mints. We have the Philadelphia Mint. We have the Denver Mint. And we have the San Francisco Mint. Now the Philly and the Denver Mints, they produce coins for circulation. The San Francisco Mint makes coins for collector reasons you know the mint sets the proof sets that's what comes out of the san francisco mint and we also have the west point mint which mints gold and bullion and they have the w mint mark on it um in the last couple of years they have put out some special coins out of there with the w mint mark which are quarters and uh some various other ones so those are the mint the mints that we currently have right now. And we're going to move right on to the Mercury Dimes, 1916 to 1945. Now, I have a lot of Mercury Dimes. And as you can see, there's not even one of them in this book. So I grabbed a handful of them out of my collection today. I have them all right here. We're going to start out with a, what do we got here? A 1943. And there is a mint mark on it. So I'm going to show you a close-up of a Mercury Dime or a Winged Liberty Dime. I prefer to call them Mercury Dimes. Now, there's the date on the front, 1943, In God We Trust. Now, if you flip it over to the reverse, down at the bottom here, you see the D. So, that's a Denver Mint. All right? That's where the mint mark's going to be on all of these coins. Right there. So that's where you find the mint mark on the Mercury Dimes. They're not on the front like you find on quarters and stuff. They are on the reverse down at the bottom there. So we got a 1943D. We're going to put that in the book here and get started. 1943D. And again, I'm not too worried about touching them. My coins, 1943D had 71.9 71 million minted. So that's quite a bit. Let's move right on to the next one. This one is a 1936. You can see it there. Let me zoom in on it a little better. 1936. Let's see if there's a mint mark on the back. No mint mark where it should be. So 1936 from Philly. Remember, if it doesn't have a mint mark, it was from Philly. 1936, no mint mark. Going right here. All right, 87.5 million of those were minted. Here's a 1945 s i don't like messing around with the staples this one's in pretty good condition i'm going to toss it up on the scope for you so you can see it you can still see some good detail in the wings it's 1945 and there is the mint mark on the back. That's an S from San Francisco. So, 1945S. We're going to put that in the book. That is the last year they were minted. 
and there was 41.9 million. Here's a 1941. It says AU almost uncirculated. Yeah, this is this one's in very nice shape. Let me show you up on the on the scope here. You can see the difference between the other ones. You know, lots of detail in the wing here. The face is nice and crisp. Yeah, this is in good shape. It's 1941. And no mint mark on the back. So 1941 from Philly. Now let's add this one in. 1941 from Philly. Very nice. Now we have a 1928 it looks like. I really don't like keeping them in flips. Yeah, 1928. No mint mark. So we got this one right here. I like to try to keep them straight in here though. There we go. 1928, 19.5 million minted. Here's a 1927. Pop that out. 1927, no mint mark. 28.1 million. Nice one there. Here's another 1927. Another 1927. Just checking for mint marks. No mint marks on either one. So we're going to leave these in the flips. Set them aside. And we got a 1925. No mint mark. So 1925. Where is that? That's right down here. And with that one, it's 25.6 million. There's a 1924. Who else just loves Mercury Dimes? I mean, they're absolutely beautiful design. I wish they would have continued with this design uh, instead of switching to the Roosevelt. But they had to make the switch. 1924, right here, 24 million. And here's another 1924 we'll leave there. Here's 1923. Nineteen twenty-three, no mint mark. Fifty point one million. Now <clears throat> I'm not looking for like pristine coins uncirculated i'm just very happy when i fill an entire album okay it doesn't make a difference to me if they're worn the thrill is in the hunt for me here's a 1923 oh which i already have all right yeah 1923 let me just put that on the scope Yes, 1923, and no mint mark. So we're just going to put that to the side and continue on. 1920. So do you prefer having them in flips and keeping them in coin boxes, or do you prefer having them in albums? Let me know down in the comments. 1920, 59 million of those. Here's another 1920. I'm gonna keep that aside. Here's a 1919. 
I like to have them in the albums. That's why I'm finally, you know, one of my goals this year in 2021, um, 1919, that's 37 35.7 million. One of my goals this year is to go through my collection, pull out all the carded coins and get them in albums. Give me something to do. Get my collection a little more organized. This is a 1919, which we just did. Here is a 1918. So you'll probably be seeing more videos like this as I fill some books. 1918. There's 26.7 million of those. There's another 1918. And the last one, 1917, no mint mark. I figured I'd break out the Mercury Dimes today and start filling this album. But what I'm shooting for this year is to fill my Walking Liberty half album. That's a definite. I'm on a mission to fill that, and I want to get this Merc Dime book going. You know, I have a bunch more. I just have to dig them out, start filling this book. Hopefully, you come along the journey with me, because you know I love my constitutional silver. You will never hear me saying the J word when I refer to this coinage. It's just not in my vocabulary. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Come along the journey with me and share my passion for coins. And let me know how you keep your coins in albums and flips. Do you just keep them in a box? Do you store them in tubes? What do you do? You know, how do you like to present them? Me, I like them in albums. It's just taken me a while to get them there. I do have an album for every single denomination of U.S. coin. And you'll see me starting to fill a lot of them. So thanks for coming along today. This is Will, Will's Treasures. See you guys on the next video.